Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with a card featuring the Newton's Nook Design Stamp Timber exclusive. Because it's a Stamp Timber exclusive, you can no longer get it, but when I shared this in a haul, somebody asked me to share an idea with the stamps and so here is that video. Plus, I bought them because I wanted to use them, so I'm going to be using them today. When I color denim, I like to use B99 nine seven nine five nine three sometimes all the way down to nine one but the b nines are my favorite for denim i'm going to as i usually do with copic coloring choose a strong shadow area and try to keep my shadow areas small and my highlight areas large especially because this pocket is kind of big it might be a good time to go all the way to the b nine one if you have it but when you have a larger space, you don't necessarily need more colors, but it gives you a great opportunity to really keep your highlight area large. I chose to have a shadow area in the bottom right hand corner and then underneath the paws. Now, what I want to do is give a little bit of a texture to this denim. So I have a terry cloth rag here and I spritzed it with some isopropyl alcohol. You could also do this with Bender, Blender Solution, Copic Blending Solution, or a zero marker refill. Anything that has sort of that alcohol base that will do a little bit of lifting of the Copic color. The terry cloth is going to be what gives it that bit of texture. So the fact that I'm not taking a smooth cloth to it. And I will try to hold it in the light and kind of show you the bit of texture that that added. Now I'm going to move on to coloring Newton here. I will also color the dogs off camera. I am making cards with Newton. So I'll make two cards with Newton and two cards with the dogs. The inspiration is Newton, the, um, the, the cat who inspired Newton's Nook was an orange tabby. Unfortunately, he has since passed. Um, but Jennifer at Newton's Nook has some new adorable kittens that she loves to share on her Instagram. So if you're not already a fan of Newton's Nook designs, you should be. <laughs> and uh, you should go check out their Instagram feed for cute stamps and cute kittens. To get the look of an orange tabby, I like YR1412 and then it's YR20 for my lighter color. This might be a little bright and pumpkin-y for some people, but I think it works. But I think the key is to keep that YR14 very, very sparing because that is a sort of very pumpkin-y type orange. But the YR20 is a lot subtler and I think it works well. It, it has a lot of yellow in it, so it's not too bright, but orange enough to stand out. What I did wanna share about coloring Newton here though, is I am going to try to come in and give him some subtle stripes that a tabby cat would have. So I am taking uh, some other YR markers so that they'll stand out, because I didn't wanna to go to the dark YR 14 because again that is a very pumpkin-y orange so I went to the YR61 which is a little subtler and I'm going to add in these stripes you actually might prefer the YR61 instead of the YR14 but because I do like a dramatic shadow that's why I went with that um, a common place you would see the stripes on a cat would be coming off the head uh, between the ears and then on the sides of the face so um, that's where I put mine as well as the tail. I kind of, I had a tabby cat, but my tabby cat was gray. So I did kind of think about how, what her coloring was. Um, but you could, of course, so here's that close up of the denim texture that I added with the terry cloth. Um, and anyway, I was saying you could go look at a picture of Newton if you wanted to really be even more inspired in terms of creating that orange tabby look. I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the stamp set. And it's actually one of the reasons that like, I really like the stamp set. I just thought it was a like really fun, general, positive message, sending you positive thoughts. And, but you can add this pocket full. So if you don't want to use the pockets from the stamp set and you have another Newton's Nook or other cat dog animal based stamp set, the sending you positive thoughts, you can use it all the time. 
but then you can add this pocket full of for when you are using this pocket stamp set and a versatile sentiment like that and a really just I mean because I like to send a lot of just simple encouraging cards to the organizations that I donate they don't necessarily need they, well, they, they like holiday cards, but they also need cards every day of the year to be encouraging. And so I like to have a lot of general positive encouraging messages. This is a cat scrappiness, wonky, wavy stitched die. I like it because it kind of reminds me of the stitching that you would see on a pair of jeans. And since that's my inspiration today, um, trying to make the look of denim, I thought that those worked really well. I think anything with stitching would be pretty good because there's all kinds of stitching, but I'm going for like, um, I'm kind of, the reason that I went with the alcohol ink background, which I'm, I'm starting here is it kind of has that look of like, I think it's called like acid wash denim, you know, where there's like the different, um, effects that were done to the pants to create those splotches and stuff. I don't know, I, I, I should have probably looked up more gene terminology, but the way that I'm creating this alcohol ink background reminds me of the texture that can be created with um, some of the uh, the vintage jeans, or well, I guess it's not vintage yet, I don't know. Is the 80s vintage? Ugh, I don't th- I don't want to think about it either. <laughs> okay, so I, I started by covering my um, alcohol ink paper here just completely so that there was a nice like even coat in the background and then I'm going to layer some ink on top and you can use a lot of different papers for alcohol ink this is like an older um, seaside chrome seaside stamp and chrome coat cardstock that I use but also um, Yupo paper works great there's stamp and specialty paper from Ranger, all kinds of good stuff out there. Use whatever your favorite is. But that dabbing technique is what's giving me that that look that's reminding me of, of classic jeans here. And then I'm going to glue this down. Now, since this is a glossy cardstock, my tape won't work. If you're gluing on to glitter cardstock or other slick glossy cardstock, do use a liquid glue. My personal favorite is the Barely Arts glue. I've just found most success and no warping with that. Another thing I liked about the stamp set is I'm a sucker for sentiments that you can color in because it allows you to add a pop of color and tie in the colors from your card. So I just took the same orange markers that I used to color new in and I used it to color in the sentiment here and that ties the orange back in to another part of the card. And one of the reasons I like the orange tabby cat is I thought the orange is a great pop off of the blue. When I color the dog though I am going to use like a more of a black look, technically grace. So that's it for my video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to join me and have an awesome day. Bye.